This is what I got for eight hundred dollars in Tokyo. Yeah, baby, I've been thinking of you, but nothing above you, and you know I love you. Every girl, but lately it's been feeling different in my intuition. I'm just trying to listen, but I don't ever blame you. After having a full-time job for a year, I decided to move out of my parents' house to live on my own. One major factor why I chose this place is because of the sunlight. Who doesn't love a great view and waking up to a sunlight? Overall, this place is really compact as you can see, but it gives me enough space to do like home workouts and whatnot in this space I have here. Yeah, so this is my bathroom. I got like a regular Japanese toilet seat with bidets on it. And most of the houses in here, you're gonna have a bidet on it. I know most of you who's watching this never use the bidet, but it's a game changer, so you gotta, you gotta check it out, come on. And on the top shelf right there, I have some uh, toilet papers and tissue boxes and cleaning supplies. And then moving on, right around, we have our the laundry machine as well as a sink. And then right next to it, we have a shower with a bathtub. And one issue I have with this room is the storage. My closet is super small. It's, if you can see, it's literally shorter than my arm. This is a big issue I have because I can't really store much clothes in here. What I did is I utilized the bottom part of my bed. I got these boxes at like a 100 yen store and then just put a bunch of clothes in there. And I actually have Clothes that wouldn't fit in here, which I just put it on right, right there as you can see. And this is my working area. I work from home about two times a week. So this is pretty much I spend half of my week here just working and editing these videos. And also this turns into a standing desk and it's really nice when I'm working from home and I get to stand up and get some exercise. Not exercise, but you know. I'm not lazy, I'm not always sitting down, you know what I mean? So I get to stand up and work my butt off. So it's really nice. I got a TV right in front of me. It's awesome. I end up spending the whole day here sometimes. It's not good at all, but you know, some days you need to just sit down and relax. And this is the perfect spot for it. And another cool thing about this place is that this thing closes. This thing literally closes up. So now we have two separate rooms. Now let's talk about location. This place is located in the Megro area. I can walk to the Megro station, which is a JR, which connects to all the major stations like Shibuya, Shinjuku, Ikebukuro. And it's a walking distance to there. So I can get to Shibuya in probably like 12 minutes. So honestly, this is like a great spot to live in. And I really love living here. It's very convenient. Everything is super close. And as you all know, trains are the most affordable and commonly used transportation here in Tokyo. And also I have a different station that's four minutes away from this place by walking. So living close to the big cities, at the same time having a chill atmosphere was my ideal situation. And I think I finally hit the jackpot. And as you can see from the title, I pay about $800 for this apartment. It's a one kitchen, a studio apartment, $800 a month. Plus I have to pay the utilities, which is like water, gas, electricity, which comes down to probably like $70 or $80 a month. So I pay about like $800 to $900 a month for living costs. And I really think this was a steal because of how much sunlight I get and I'm on 6th floor. And it's really hard to come by an apartment like this. And I found this apartment through Sumo, which is an app slash website where you can look at the postings of the buildings and apartments if you want to rent it. It's a most commonly used app by Japanese locals who are looking for apartments. Now let's talk about like the difficult parts of moving to a different apartment in Japan. It's very rare that you find things like washer, fridge, or like oven in your house that like comes with it. So people usually have to buy their own and move them to places, places when they're moving. And as I moved out of my parents' house, I had to buy all these stuff. These things could be very heavy and expensive. So I am gonna tell you where I got my stuff 
for budget. First off, I got my wash here from Amazon. It was actually cheaper than going to like a local electronics store here. So I just bought it off them. They actually come to set it up for you and I think it was about $130 with all the setups combined. And for the fridge, I would go with the Amazon as well because they also do the setup and stuff like that for you. But I actually was lucky enough to get it from my coworker for free. So yeah, so definitely check out your friends and if you don't have friends, go to Facebook Marketplace. If you still don't have them, just buy it. And another thing you have to buy are the beds, right? And as for mine, I got it from a website called LASIK. And that bed was a steal too. It was about $240 for the bed frame and the mattress. That's pretty darn cheap from what I was looking into. If anybody knows any other cheaper beds that ship to Japan, please do let me know in the comments. And other good companies to buy stuff like beds and even like fridges is Nitori. Nitori is like a Japanese version of Ikea. But a lot of times things in Ikea are too big for Japanese homes, especially if you're living alone, right? In like these tiny apartments. But Nitori gets it just right um, and it's pretty affordable in most cases. So definitely recommend checking out Nitori. I have a nice little balcony with a view. Cool, I really like just having a view around. It's really hard to come by a place that is open because as you can see, there's a lot of buildings right next to each other, like right there. Right? So that wraps up my apartment tour in Tokyo. Please let me know in the comments what you like and what you want to see me do. And make sure you hit that follow button. And make sure to follow me on Instagram at ByKyleTomo for more updates.